Bangley on a Stark. Hopefully she becomes with child. And we should continue the Stark line. The Stark line will not end, lads. For the good of the first man bloodline, we must continue. The Starks will not die here today. That's my excuse for bagging her. It's fine. But kind of chill. Uh, I have betrothed my eldest son, Christopher, to uh, Lord Darry's daughter. And basically, I'm just going to primarily teach my kids to become uh, stewards. So that I can increase my lands and uh, profits and whatnot. Because then I can improve everything else and eventually, slowly, I'll be able to have a sizable force to defend my bases. All of the bases will belong to us. And then we can eventually start repairing old stones. Convert faith, there you go. Yes, slowly converting people to the true true. You will join the true true. Yes, that will help my, uh, but yeah, the, them changing faith will help me drastically. Lord Darry died. And then his daughter just died in childbirth. And Lady Paramount Becker, a hunchback, and a 12-year-old is currently in charge. If I wasn't doing kind of IRP vibes, I could honestly just assassinate her right now. Like, nobody likes her. I could honestly assassinate her, and then that girl would inherit, and she's betrothed to my son. So it would go against everything my character stands for from an RP perspective to merc a 12-year-old. Unfortunately, because of my self-restrictive rules, I can't just kill the her. So we're not going to do that. I could, but we won't. We won't. I will restrain myself. This is one of those times where I'm... Uh, where I am enforcing an RP rule, so, so to speak, just to make it so the game is not too easy. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do anything. Plus, uh, Christopher might die of illness apparently. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I mean, someone else might merc Becca. I don't know. Who is it? The wolf? The trident's mouth. All right, it's the other branch of House Darry that's claiming the Riverlands. We'll rally the banners. I don't really think I can help too much, to be honest, because they are kind of vastly outnumbered. They're way outnumbered. They are screwed. And I'll I'll do what I can, but I'm pretty sure we're fucked. Yeah, they're vastly outnumbered. Which doesn't surprise me, because who do you want in charge? This dude who's called Harwin the Wolf? Or frickin' uh, the hunchback 14-year-old girl? Like, <laughs> Blackwood has also attacked them in a frickin' Liberty War. We are screwed. Oh, I, uh, the Muds tried. My uncle died. Tristan Mud, the one that was trying to get Kingsguard this entire time. Not like he was delusional, but, you know... He tried. Yeah, no. uh, we've lost. We have absolutely lost in that regard. Yeah, it does mean that we kind of have a, uh, a potential claim on... A claim on the Riverlands later on through the girl. Because she's still going to keep those claims. In theory. Go to Aegon and get him to intervene. You could do that. Actually, they probably can't. Because uh, it's a Regent situation. So the Regency would have to do it. But the Regency is useless. So the only way we're winning this right now is making that... I want to put... Why the hell is... Uh... A Dornish house of sandstone? In why? 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 <laughs> why are the Dornish involving themselves in this little war? Oh, the Stormlands. Yeah, Viserys has been called in to help. Doesn't have anywhere near enough troops to actually help, but, you know. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, I guess you, they just... Oh, I know, victory. What? Oh, they must have captured the dude. Okay. I stand corrected. Apparently, uh, apparently, yeah. Holy hell, okay. Right, well, I thought they would definitely... I thought definitely that the wolf dude had uh, stolen the title, but nope. Apparently not. So they must have either captured them, or, or Aegon inter like interfered and told them no. I have done betrothals for everyone, by the way. Aside from uh, aside from Trista for marrying the Darry girl, Trian is betrothed to a page girl from uh, our neighbors. Basically, or just all local alliances with uh, bordering river lords, or less. I don't have any justification for going outside of the realm for alliances yet, really. So. It's pretty much just limited to the local lordlings and bordering territories and stuff. Okay, lads, my sons have come of age. They are not the greatest fighters that you have ever seen, but they are decent when it comes to money, which is what I wanted, essentially. Uh, John still has a while to go up. John might actually be a fighter, although he's got lazy, so that doesn't fill me with confidence. What we can do, however, is uh, knight my son. So he is now Sir Christopher. And uh, arrange the betrothals between the Darry girl... 
And the Dairy Girl's no longer heir to the Riverlands, but it still gives us a claim to push for later. Uh, do you want to see uh, something amusing? Look, it, Prince Viserys is, is called the, the Great Dragon. <laughs> the Great Dragon. He has all daughters, and the Stormlight cannot make up their goddamn mind. What the hell are they doing? And then Eastermont was installed by Faction Demand. Uh, and then Viserys was installed by Faction Demand, and then Eastermont was installed by Faction Demand, and then Viserys, and then Eastermont, and then Viserys again. The Stormlords are bipolar, apparently, but, uh, that is now a thing that's happening. They don't actually control Storm's End, either. The Eastermonts do. Uh, so that's a thing, I guess. I, uh, I did not manage to impregnate Lyanna Stark, alas. I think it's because she it was like 46 or something. And women lose their value once they pass a certain level. The potato, the potato head man told me that, um, on, on TikTok. Uh, I've, se I've seen, I've seen the TikToks. I am hip with the kids. I'm not. Uh, uh, YouTube shorts is a thing. It's, uh, Titos, and then Jenny, and then her, and then her, and then my wife. So technically, I'm like the fifth in line to inherit Blackwood Vale if all the Blackwoods happen to uh, kill themselves or something. Much closer in line to inheriting the Riverlands, but, you know, for now at least, uh, we're, we're fine. All we're doing, pretty much, is uh, building up my lands or trying to, adding some buildings, and mostly focusing on things that give me some taxation. Some of my neighbors want me to come help them and save their asses, so we'll do that quick, that's fine. I can't really help the Darius at all, but I can help these lads out. Died in mysterious circumstances, actually. Which leaves a child in control. Really good, the Darius are really doing well. And their, their liberty score is now like a billion, a billion in the negatives. Roderick, what do you mean you want to be Kingsguard, buddy? Aren't you married to someone whom I need an alliance with, my boy? No, you have a duty. You're not good enough to be Kingsguard. I don't have anyone good enough to teach you to be Kingsguard. <laughs> I'm slightly worried about this. It's because I have, like, absolutely bugger all men at arms. Oh shit, Tristan got imprisoned. I swear if you kill him, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Oh crap, I gained disfigured. Helping these assholes. Ah, I lost a leg. Okay, I, I lost a leg in the battle. Why is this war still happening? Like, seriously, the, the war is still getting dragged out. We're only 92%. Like, hurry up already. End it. Go, go, go. Come on. That's Why is it going down to 50? What are you doing? At least Roderick's come of age. He's not exactly an amazing fighter, though. I want to know why we've gone down to 50% up from 90. What the hell? Because I, I'm now risking dangerous factions from the freaking... Always with the Malisters. Every fucking time with the Malisters, I swear. Of Sea God. Why are you Sea God? Who else? Oh, you you assassinated the freaking old gods, Malister. You killed your own brother, is what you just did to take Sea God, you little bitch. Can we end this war, please? I don't know why the hell we've gone to 50% war score for some strange reason. Starting to worry that the game's gonna get incredibly unplayable, and I definitely should have turned off all of those sub mods. Okay, lads. Uh, the Darius have proven themselves incapable of rulers. Uh, we've got a hunchback, and now we've got a. A child in charge, and it's just not gone well, honestly. They have a very poor track record, to be perfectly honest. First one did basically nothing, and then Damon uh, Darry was known as the Silent because he basically kept his mouth shut and didn't do anything. And then they put a woman in charge who died in childbirth, typical woman. Uh, and then the, they put a hunchback woman in charge who mysteriously died, clumsy woman. Uh, and now a child is in charge. It's just despicable. It's despicable stuff, let's. Rightfully so, we need to uh, install a woman with uh, a proper proper strong man in charge, Sir Christopher. Named after the Hammer of Justice, he will rightfully so guide the Dairy Women uh, to success. Uh, but yeah. We, we have six people that have joined us. There's Maiden Paul, uh, Willow's Wood, the fair market assholes that dragged me into that really long-ass war, and some other small people. But if we look at the opinion people have of this one-year-old kid that's ruling the Riverlands, it's pretty freaking negative. So I'm fairly sure that most of the lords will probably rise up with us. Probably. I'm liking my chances. I'm going to push the demands. Assuming that the child doesn't just give up. It might be war. No, oh, yep, he's giving up. It's clear to me that you would see the run bleed, blah 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 blah. No, there's great injustice was done here. That will not stand. You're three years old, dude. You don't have a say in any of this. There you go. New liege, which is my daughter-in-law. Which means that House Mud will inherit the Riverlands. That was incredibly easy, and this is going way quicker than I had originally intended. Made steward, 
of the Riverlands, lads, which should give me a bunch of tax bonuses. Yes, excellent stuff. That's very good. So I can start continuing to uh, dump some cash into this. I am also slowly rebuilding old stones. It's taking me a couple of years. It's actually going way smoother than I anticipated. I expected this to drag out for a while. But it's uh, it's looking pretty good, all things considered. I should not have said that. I should not have said this is where that iron fro that that iron bank there that I have that still has not appeared. That's gonna show up out of nowhere and we're all going to die. <laughs> also, I forget that I'm missing a leg and I'm terribly wounded, so it's not going that well, but it's going decently enough. King Aenar, Aenar turned out pretty good in terms of fighting at least. His uh his father, King Aegon, died apparently in a tournament accident. Killed by some old dude. But yeah, no, the uh the, the king is pretty goddamn good actually. Why is my granddaughter freaking Amazonian? Damn. She got that out of nowhere. Is that even her, their kid? Where the hell did she get that from? That is... That, okay. <laughs> My granddaughter, because I have no idea where the hell that trait came from. That came from somewhere, but uh, not here. Do I have anyone with Amazonian in freaking... I have no idea, but apparently <laughs> apparently that chick has Amazonian for some reason. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. <sighs> I swear to shit, the Malisters are just a constant pain in my ass. I will not be threatened. Go away, Malister. The excuse to smack the Malisters upside the head again. They never learn. They never learn. This is where the Iron Bank, like, supports them or something. I'm still, like, terrified about that happening. Now nah, we'll take Zika. I'm gonna, like... Can I separate off from the frickin' thing? Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Just in case they run away again. We'll take Seagard. We'll capture the frickin' Malisters, and then I will probably just kill them because they are constantly rising up in rebellion against me. It's the religion thing. The religion thing is what's constantly getting me in trouble. And she's actually the heir to Seagard already, so. I'm gonna do revoke title, and if she refuses, then screw the bitch. And then I give Will Mud that. And instead of the Malisters inheriting, it's a branch of house mud with Malister blood. Hey, it rhymed. It rhymed. We have to do it, let's. There you go. House Mud will rule Seagard. The Malisters had their chance. I tried to keep them alive. I was nicer to them. I tried to just change their religion. But no. Why are you pregnant? Who are you banging? God damn it. You're banging. Of course you're banging the 66-year-old dude. For what reason is the 20-year-old going to be banging the 20 the 66-year-old priest? At a certain point, the fact that you are 66 control no land that are of no significance and have no money to your name, you should have a negative 200% chance to seduce in anybody. Anybody. <laughs> like, that's... Uh, no. No, you're not seducing people. That's, that's not how that works. It makes no sense. Stupid game. Stupid. Bad. Bad game. Bad. Oh, well, at least that deals with the Manister problem. I think that's everyone is old god now, actually. Yeah, because I made the Rushmores old god. I don't know. The, the Bruins aren't old god. They will be, though. Hobbit is with uh, my granddaughter's married to my daughter. So eventually, yes, more or less, everyone that I have as my direct vassal along the coast is uh, old god. Sweet. Seriously? Wayfarer's Rest had a war. Conflict between Wayfarer's Rest and the Riverlands, a little interest to me until the council summer. I was at the tournament when this was happening. I know immediately that something terrible was happening to my son. Uh, we confirmed Lord Paramount Christopher was killed, staunchly resisting the Riverlands' heavy horsemen. He was slain by Lord Ambron. Castellan. This encounter could not save him, my brave son. Yeah, he'll not get away with this. Screw that guy. Fuck him, him right to hell. Right, well, I wasn't going to get myself involved in this war, but now I mean, well will. Why have I got equal succession law? Eh? Why? I swear this game is termed feminist in the last couple of days. Because I swear that wasn't the case a minute ago. <laughs> well, the war is over, but I am going to challenge this asshole to a fight. The one-legged old man's going to challenge him to a fight. I have one leg, yes, but I'm still got more prowess. To Seems to be the best thing. Just die, swarm the justice, low. I won! Ha ha! I hope that wound festers and you die. I entirely believe that he would frickin' just be pissed. That he murdered my son. He must die for this transgression. And I will lead the men, limping with one leg. But nonetheless, I will lead them. Right, on me, boys. Let's do this. Holy hell, I moved quick there for a second. Kick their ass! We killed one of the assholes. Interestingly, I think the Vances are actually my daughter-in-law. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wayfarer's Rest. How? 
Oh, because he died under mysterious circumstances. And then he was slain by accident during a scuffle. So, technically speaking, the descendants of my son, Roderick, who is my youngest son, his... My grandsons are going to inherit Wayfarer's Rest. Okay. House Mud is really moving up in the world, lads. Get back over here. Oh, I died. I was worried that might happen. Abandon his mortal coil. He was slain by uh, Aloy Rivers. That puts my one of, one of my now uncles in an awkward position. But yeah, no. House Mud's going to inherit Wayfarer's Rest. What the hell, man? But we're now playing as Lord Damon, which is potentially actually bad. Because, well... I am betrothed to my cousin, who has Amazonian for some strange reason. I, neither of their parents have it, but she does, so I'm thinking she's a bastard, honestly, but I don't know exactly. Alright, well, I am being tutored fairly decently, and basically, I guess, we just, yeah. Hopefully nobody tries to usurp my titles or kill me. It'd be Damon and Mud, right? Rather than, because Damon's the Targaryen spelling of the uh, D-A-E, and then you kind of... The A is silent. I get Damon. I prefer Damon. I'm gonna say Damon, but sounds cooler than Damon. Damon sounds way too much like Gammon, <laughs> and and that that's just that's that's a meat. I'm not being called Gammon. This makes me hungry, damn you. Anyway, yeah, I'm uh, I'm meeting my peers and making friendos. Yeah, I gave uh I gave Damon this hairstyle because he's got a little strand of black hair from his father, and the rest is from his mother. I order you to return the ball, bastard. That's my regent, captain, and guardian. Frowns while returning the ball. Yep. He's not particularly happy with me. He's my regent, so that's a pretty bad plan. Either. Damon is just going around the realm, going to being invited to parties and stuff with a bunch of kids, apparently. He's bullying the bar. Am I just, like, befriending the frickin' Bar Emmon family entirely? Because I saved the girl already. He can barely be kicking football. Why don't we friends with this rascal? Leave him alone. Intimidate him is backing off. Woo! Seriously, I'm just, like, saving this entire family. Yeah, I befriended, uh... I befriended her, and that was f friend is the one I did. Okay. See, that's a good RP reason right there. It's events like that is, like, reasonably... We have decent relations with the Bar Emmons. Like, later on, like, we could make some kind of deal with them if we wanted to. Like, that's a decent reason to say we could, like, get a betrothal or a marriage out of that visit. Which I could technically do. My cousin needs a bride. Yeah, no, that, that's a prime example right there of an event where I could totally get some kind of like agreement. I might go to another event or something and then uh, get Damon to travel around Westeros and get a bunch of experience while he's still a kid. Another day, lads. Another party that Damon's attending. He's very popular, you see. Uh, I have a 43% chance to get strong from this, which would be kind of cool. I rescued her, but I don't think I got strong. This is a really good way to farm base prowess, though. Anyway, after this, uh... Yeah, I, I'm like... I've met with, like, some Targaryen kids and stuff, is the thing. It makes me... It's kind of funny. Anyway, uh, now that we're done with this, we are going to basically explore all of Westeros and go to the points of interest to get some free lifestyle points. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I kind of bullied Prince Rhaegar, apparently. Well... With the help of Benfrey, I finally concluded my studies the Art of Warfare. I am disappointed in results, apparently, as I could have done better. My captain trained alongside proceedings acceptably. I fought a few uppity peasants. Trained alongside acceptably. I fought a few uppity peasants. Take my first step into adulthood. My friendship with Roland, the Flint dude, meant a lot to me. Yeah, I got bullied by my cousin and I bullied Prince Rhaegar. I am a man now. I gain dutiful captain, but I do get formidable fighter, assuming it actually does give me formidable fighter. No. Lord Damon, you are a man now. And I am traveling Westeros, slowly getting a bunch of lifetime experience. Alright. And he marries this girl. Dorof Mud, who got fortunate builder and she got skilled fighter. She's a badass. It's a tad bit inbreedy. But, uh, for the chance of inheriting Amazonian, I don't know why they even have that, but sure, it's worth. One has managed to completely screw itself. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I am signing with the king, because, honestly, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's the war. That's barely even worth mentioning the fact that it exists, frankly. But, uh, we are just on our way home now from our adventures. Nah, eh, some of the island islands have sided with them. Yeah, the, the Isles and Dawn. Good job I got out of the Isles when I did, because I just got home, pretty much. 
Yeah, I kind of low-key bullied Rhaegar. I don't if, I wonder if he remembers. Childhood bully minus 10. Yeah. I don't even know how I ended up... I'm, it must have been at one of those meetings that I had with people. But apparently I bullied the Prince of the Iron Throne. I mean, I think I'll change that name when he, once he earns... I was thinking like the Dark Hammer or something. Something cooler than the Handsome. I'm not going to call him the Handsome. See, I love that mod. That is my favorite sub-mod of all time in existence. The ability to give my own characters nicknames based on, like, what I see them as for, like, the, sca the character. Fucking, mwah, perfect. Love it. I love everything about it. I do not, however, love that beard that he just grew out of in there. What the hell is that? <laughs> the hell, like, the Targaryens must have done something to piss off the Dornish. Tempted murder. Ah. And Nemesis. Yeah. Yep, they're, they're not happy. They are not happy. Yeah. <laughs>